So, Coach, you're going to start your season, and you're not like a triangle offense or a Princeton coach. So how do you end up sort of building your, an offense and deciding what action you like and how you want to run it? Well, the, the core principles are always going to be the same uh, as far as your level of unselfishness, your attention to detail. You're trying to pick an appropriate pace of play uh, that your players can best function in. And then it's, it's always going to come down uh, to the fundamentals and being able to create quality shots against the very best defenses that you're going to face in the particular year. And then you're going to take a look at uh, your team in that given year and what they do best and you've got to get your best players more quality shots than the, uh, your opponents can get for their best players and so um, whichever actions you like is really in some ways irrelevant it's uh, the execution of them and how many things you try to be good at I think that's that's critical I know as a young coach when I was first going into coaching you try to do too much and invariably uh, that dilutes your level of execution. So I know you said it's almost irrelevant but there must be some action that when you see a team run like a back door or something that really gets you excited. Is there is there anything in particular when you see a score that's beautiful uh, that you can pick out of your off the top of your head? Well I think multiple uh, pass sequences that also incorporate player movement and and end up in a layup uh, because layups are so hard to get against the best quality teams. And so any action like that, in particular one Patty Mills to Ginobili last night, um, was beautiful to see.